So everyone that does product reviews, gear reviews, knife reviews, doesn't matter. You get a product and you first look at it, you're like, there's no way I'm gonna like this. And every once in a while, you have that moment where you're like, I love this. We are going to look at a knife that has done that for me. In my hand is one of the most unique knives that have come in this year and I'm in love with it. So let's look at the final review of this knife from above. Guys, the time has come to do the final review on what is one of the most awesomely unique knives that I've had come in in a long time, the Yan Knives EMW. And if you guys haven't heard me talk about this, I have absolutely fallen in love with this knife and it, it has a lot going for it. Let's get the box out of the way and really get into this. So before we get into the specs, I do know that a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, it's just a gimmick. It is not. This is just an awesome, awesome knife. It's got two separate blades. It's much akin to to some of the double-ended slip joints a lot like I would say a, um, I forget what my dad had one, it was a little trapper. It was called a muskrat. So it had two blades that were the same or just slightly different on each end. And you kind of have that going here with the two different blade shapes. But let's go ahead real quick and we'll start getting into some specs. So if there's any of these specs that are little off, I have to blame Blade HQ because that's where I'm taking these from. So they have an overall length listed as 10 inches, but I'm going to tell you that's off. It's actually 7.5 because you got a four and a half inch handle with a three inch blade. Each blade is three inches. So that gives you that additional um, three inches where they've got it listed as 10. Uh, so uh, you're you're looking at titanium. Uh, with an inlay. Now, mine is done in my carta, but there are various different inlays. You can get carbon fiber, fat carbon fiber, um, and things like that. So you've got two blades. You have a trailing point or a bushido, and also a tonto, a really nicely done tonto. It is a compound tonto with a flat and a hollow. They're both done in M390, and they are beautiful. They are both liner locks with inlays, so they're kind of like bolster locks. Top flip only. So you're looking at a total weight on this coming in just at 4.4 ounces. It's not super heavy. Now, I have to say the action on this, way better than I was expecting. It is a top flipper that I absolutely love. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is in my pocket almost every day. And a lot of you guys are looking at it and you're like, what? There's no pocket clip. We'll get into that in a second. So let's do a couple quick size comparisons because there are, I mean, I just wanted to show you even, I'm not going to open both blades. So your first knife for size comparison. Spyderco PM2, just because it happened to be handy, just laying there. Uh, you can see it's shorter than the PM2. Next knife, Benchmade 940, really nice size comparison. You guys are going to probably know that a lot better. It is really close in size to the 940. And it, because it's got this recurve, it's deceptive that, you know, it, it kind of is longer than it looks looks from tip to tail. Uh, and then your final knife, as always, Chrissy Sabenza Large 21. You can see a good bit bigger here with the 21. So let's get this out of the way and we'll take a good look at this knife and explain why I've fallen in love with it as much as I have. So I did not, exp I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've seen this at shows. This was the third time I've seen them at shows. I think they were kind of in the prototype phase the first time I saw them. They were on sale the second time I saw them. And then this year when I went back to California Custom Knife Show for the fall show, the guys at Crane's Cutlery asked me if I wanted to take one home and I absolutely am glad I did. Now, the thing about it that I always saw, cause you always see them on the table like this is I'm like, that's really gimmicky and kind of goofy. And what I've found is it is not, it is very, very good. Now it is, they are running on really good bearings. These are done for Yan knives by Riat. And if you know anything about Riat, their knives are impeccable. So the action and everything, the smoothness of this knife, the grinds, the consistency of the grinds and everything is done. Heat treat on the steel has been amazing. I use this blade a lot more than I do the other end. Uh, the Tonto. I have used it and they both cut incredibly well. I'm just a bigger fan of this blade down here, that blade shape, the Bushido, the swept back blade. So in hand, incredibly comfortable. And I think it lends its, I think the reason is this, this curvature lends itself to being really comfortable in a hand, in your hand when you're bearing down and really cutting, which I have done a good bit of cutting with this knife. Not necessarily a lot of heavy cutting, but I can tell you this thing cuts really well. Next thing, it's nice and broad. And with it being really broad like that, it absolutely is comfortable in my hand because I've got big hands, which means it's really comfortable to cut with. So you get that thickness and it allows a level of controllability of this knife that I really don't see in a lot of other knives this size. If this had been a single bladed knife, I don't think I would have liked it as much. If it had just been the half like this, 
I wouldn't have liked it as much. Uh, lockup on these are great. Uh, you've got really good lockup, steel lock bar insert, running on ceramic balls, ceramic detent. The top flip action on them is incredible. This is one of the few top flippers that I actually can do with my index finger, and I don't have a problem with it. I love the top flipper on this. I think if they had done it a different way, I wouldn't like it as much. The grinds on the blades are absolutely beautiful. I just stropped that, so you see a little bit of strop compound there. Um, absolutely beautiful on these uh, on these blades. The grinds are really super consistent, really well done, nice and thin behind the edge. This compound Tonto is just gorgeously done with a flat and a hollow. The grind on the Bushio blade also done really well. And you've got these, you got these swedges that just are really attractive and give some facets to the blades. One of the other things I found about this knife that I really like, it might have a little bit of a strange blade to handle ratio because basically you have a pivot at both ends. So it's a little bit longer than it kind of needed to be. But I'm going to tell you, like you can see right there, this knife could have had a longer blade, but you'd be running into that pivot post and things. But that that doesn't really bother me because of how well it cuts. And another thing that I found is because you've got this area, which actually acts as this pivot, but a spacer for the handle on this side, you put your thumb up on that and you've got a much more stable. You don't need a finger toil on this because you can definitely choke way up on it like this just by putting your thumb there. And you maintain the controllability, but you can choke way up on it and it still allows you to power down. Now you do lose a little bit of the blade you know, that you're not using. But the fact is, so much more control of it like that. Now, this does come in a bunch of different configurations. Carbon fiber, um, fat carbon fiber, and I can't remember what the other ones were. I like the micarta. The micarta on this is really, really good. It's done attractively, but it has not been polished to the point where it's slick. It gives you a lot of traction. And it is just a good pop on this. Now, like I said, this reminds me a lot of a traditional muskrat folder, which I'll find a picture of one here. I know that the one my dad had, it was a little yellow muskrat. Um, I'll put it in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this is kind of a, a, a more modern take on that where you've got two blades that are either really close to being the same or the same. And it's just allowing you to have two blades, but it's kind of like that slip joint that's been brought into the modern. You've got a modern deployment, you've got a more modern lock, and it is just awesome. Now, I know you guys are going to say, but Mike doesn't have a pocket clip. This comes with a very nice leather pocket slip, titanium and leather, and the leather there is really good. This carries so incredibly well, and you can tell I've carried it a lot because I've actually deformed the... Uh, leather to where you can see the pivot there and you can see the top of the pivot there. It is very easy to carry with this. It's a larger, thicker package, but it carries really well in pocket. And that's that's just something that I just, I, I love a good slip. And the other bonus of this is this slip actually also will fit the exo gravity knife so if you've got both of these knives like i have a, a slip for the exo gravity knife but if you have both of those knives you can actually carry you can you know repurpose this slip if you're not carrying this knife if you want to carry your exo as a pocket clip knife so there's only a couple little little things and i mean tiny things that i've noticed about this knife and we'll talk about those right after you guys hear from a sponsor Guys, you've heard me talk about Coffee Brand Coffee a bunch of times. I'm going to do it again real quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is a channel sponsor. They are a great company sponsoring small channels like mine, but they also are a guilt-free purchase because they do not practice any politics. They have a money-back guarantee, and they roast their coffee on demand. So if you're interested in it, my my link down below in the videos saves you 10% at checkout, sometimes more depending on what they've got going on as far as specials and sales. So go check them out. Great product. Thank you very much for sponsoring the channel, Coffee Brand Coffee. Let's get back to the knife. Okay, the first thing is there's no way to know which blade is up. So if you happen to put this in your pocket slip, um, and you grab it and you don't want to necessarily use the Tonto blade, you got to kind of flip. I, I would like to maybe put a notch on one, like one one notch here is the is the Tonto and then two notches here would be the Bushido and you could duplicate it on both sides. And that way you could kind of just index and you're like, oh, I don't want that blade. I want to use the Tonto for whatever specific reason because sometimes it is nice to have that flat and use that and just being able to identify it a little bit more quickly uh, would be beneficial. 
the next thing, which is basically the last thing. I mean, there is one other thing. Um, there is a bit, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you guys. There is a bit of a sharp edge there. Just a little bit of that corner right there. It's not bad, but you definitely can feel it when you run your finger across it. And it, it can kind of be a hot spot if you're really bearing down, like right here, you've got it and you're really bearing down. It kind of can dig into your finger a little bit, but it's not bad. And then the last thing is maintenance. Maintenance on this is a little bit more problematic. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you look here, you've got double the set of everything. Now I've had this apart a couple times because as you can see, it gets dirty because it spends a lot of time in my pocket. So I took it apart twice now and cleaned it up. Once because I did a heavy sharpening, I had knocked the tip. If you look at this blade here, I'd knocked the tip off of this and I had to resharpen it. So I had a bunch of grit down in the pivot and you've got double everything. So you have two pivots, four washers, two blades, which means there's a lot more to, to take apart and put back together. And if you take it all the way apart, which I didn't do, I, I did one side at a time. But if you have to be one of those guys that takes the knife all the way apart, maybe wants to throw it in an ultrasonic, you could run into problems because there's no way of knowing which blade goes with which end of the handle, right? So you could mark it or something like that. But the problem is as things, you know, match over time. If I use this blade more than the other one and I'm deploying that blade more than the other one, I'm going to have a little bit of like matched wear of parts where I may wind up getting these rotated and then have a little bit of blade play or lock rock. So that, I mean, not a big deal. I recommend doing one side at a time if you're going to take this apart uh, and clean it up. So really an awesome, awesome knife. I'm glad that I finally just went ahead and 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 just was like, okay, I'll do a review of one because they sent this with me. I absolutely have fallen in love with it. So guys, there'll be a purchase link for this down below. It is an awesome, awesome knife. Uh, and with it being from Riyadh, you really can't go wrong. Is it a up or not? I absolutely love this. This isn't going anywhere. This is still going to spend a lot of time in my pocket. So guys, that's it on this one. Let's turn around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. Like I said, guys, absolutely did not expect to fall in love with this knife the way I have. It is a constant companion now. It's in my pocket so much. I didn't even notice it until I was looking at some of the footage. I carry this enough that I have got spots of the micarta where I've just shined them up because it's just always in my pocket, always getting carried. So guys, if you want to check one out, like I said, there'll be a link to it down below. So give videos a thumbs up, helps the channel, it supports. If you drop a comment, that's another way any interaction with the video helps. If you don't like the video, you can drop a thumbs down, but let me know why. If you want to support the channel, bunch of ways. I want to remind you guys, I have a membership. That is the best way to support the channel. I do exclusive content. I do giveaways. Uh, there's a private discord and there's a, tut a sharpening tutorial series, the premium guys, but I also have got sponsors down below. That's a good way to support. I know I dropped an add in. You can go to Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail, or Doll Strong Knives. Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail, their links have got discount codes built in. Speaking of discounts, I can still save you 40% over at Beyond EDC Wall Supplies Lest with coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. It also will save you 10% at Fair and Forge Knife Works and Rosecraft Blades. I've got affiliate links with most of the major vendors down below. You can take those. Those don't cost you anything at checkout. It supports the channel. So if you're going to buy a knife, please use one of my links. Uh, I've also got an Amazon store. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. I would greatly appreciate it. Guys, that's it on this one. I, oh, I built a public Discord as well. There's a link. It says join the community. Go check that one out. There's like 20 people in there now. So guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.